What's up, Fragrance Fam? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your humble host, Jerome Smith. You're now tuned into the Fragrance Show. And today, I'm going to be giving y'all my final verdict on one of the newer releases from the house of F9, and it's called 9AM Dive, guys. I guess this is a follow-up to the 9PM um, <clears throat> release from them. I have no problem with the 9PM fragrance. People say that was lacking in performance. Um, yada, yada. I guess it depends on what batch you get. But we're talking 9AM Dive. This one right here, guys. What do it smell like? How does it perform? When and where to wear it? All of that will be discussed here on the Fragrance Show. Stay tuned. Tapping back in with your boy, new subscribers, peace to y'all, my return subscribers, peace to y'all as well. Peace to everybody in the fragrance community, guys. That's right, today we're talking 9 a.m. die. This one right here, I got my bottle, I believe, off of eBay. Uh, I will link that down in the description, but I'm pretty sure you could probably find this one on, you know, most of the sites that you guys usually, usually shop at. To me, Excuse me, if it ain't triple traders, I go on eBay. That's just me. But nevertheless, and I still, I think I got this one for under $40, I believe. But, excuse me. 9 a.m. dive, similar to the 9 p.m. bottle. Got the 9. Uh, but this one is a blue bottle. It's already giving y'all the kind of vibe that is already going to be on uh, the cap. Similar, real cheap cap, guys. It got some little weight to it, but let's give it a spray. And man, you get a nice distribution on that. I will say that. This is a nice distribution on that atomizer. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. And I wanted to show y'all uh, the box. The lid is around here somewhere, but this is the kind of like the box that it come in. Nice design. I just had the lid. I'm sorry, guys. But right off the top, when you first spray this fragrance, you're going to get that YXL, Y kind of sweet, kind of fresh kind of style of fragrance nothing that's gonna um blow you away it's actually following kind of like a trend uh what's going on now you know what i'm saying but for this style this blue style kind of fragrance yes it's gonna have sweetness um that's gonna be from apple and it's gonna have freshness that's probably gonna be from like some kind of bergamot or uh, some kind of citrus up top that's giving it that combination, but this definitely reminds me of YXLY for sure. Uh, which is not a bad thing because if you're looking for alternative uh, to the YXLY, which I still believe is like $124 retail off of Macy's, uh, you know, you can check this one out right here. Now, people keep saying this smells like. They getting like Blue Day Chanel from this, guys. Please stop, stop, stop. You know, like, in order for me to get uh, even a whiff of Blue Day Chanel from this, I gotta sniff this up, this fragrance. I gotta really go dive into the skin to even get a, even scratch the surface of Blue Day Chanel. So please stop it with the Blue Day Chanel comparisons, guys. This one is totally in the same running on parallel streets with YXLY is a compliment getting easy going easy to grab style of fresh fragrance that you can wear in the spring in the summer but I would definitely go summertime for sure with this one uh, 9 a.m. dive guys so that's what this smells like let me see can I get some notes up on this one for y'all see kind of shocked this one is up on Fragrantica so fast Normally, you can't find these kind of fragrances on Fragrantica uh, to get some kind of note breakdown, but this is defined as an aromatic aquatic fragrance uh, for women and men. So they're saying that could be unisex. I would not want to smell that on a woman. Uh, I don't think YSLY is unisex, and I definitely don't think that kind of DNA is unisex. That's just my opinion. Um, uh, launched in 2022, the top notes is mint, lemon, pink pepper, black currant. In the mid, you got apple, incense, cedar. In the base, you got patchouli, ginger, jasmine, and sandalwood. This is a woody, sweet, fresh fragrance, guys. This is what this is. This is YXLY on definitely on a lower tier, though. I will say that. When you want to wear this one, you want to wear this in the summer. 
To me, this is a daytime fragrance. I wouldn't wear this one at night. This is a daytime, regular outing, grab and go to the gym, to the store, to lunch kind of fragrance, kind of vibe I get with this. To me, as far as attire, I would go casual first with this fragrance. To me, this is a casual, something you wear casually. Like what I got on now, just a regular shirt, button up shirt, button down. You know what I'm saying? You do, to me, you don't wear a tie with that. To me, you don't wear a tie with that kind of DNA, in my opinion. It's not that sharp, fresh, super masculine, kind of cunning, kind of blue kind of fragrance. To me, this is the blue fragrance with the sweetness in there. There's no incense in that fragrance to me. I'm not getting that. Um, like I said, the, cit the citrus is going to come from lemon. The sweetness is going to come from apple. And it has a woody undertone that's coming from sandalwood. But that's basically YSLY to me. Um, now, as far as on the performance, let's get down to the performance. I'm not going to lie, guys. The performance on this one, on this one was definitely on the weaker side. I got about like a max of like maybe total longevity with this one five hours five hours that's good for a freshie i guess but maybe five six hours is pushing it total longevity on this fragrance and the projection was only good within the first hour now as that fragrance sits and we're not in the summer yet so I gotta put that out there. It's not in, it's not hot where I live at in Philadelphia right now. So maybe the, those performing numbers will go up. But for as of right now, uh, for the sake of this video, I get five to six hours of total longevity, and I get about like I said, performance projection was good within the first hour. Now I will say that kind of scent DNA will garnish you compliments. Uh, if somebody gets a whiff for you, they're gonna definitely say you smell nice. But. To me, that's what it is with the 9 a.m. dive. I mean, I think it's a solid release, but I think it's following the trends of what's going on out here. When you combine the sweet with the fresh, that's what you're gonna get from this coming down to those notes. You guys, let me know down in the comments what you uh, what you think about 9 a.m. dive, guys. And um, actually, I wanted to get this review out to you guys because I just sold this bottle, and. Um, I just sold this bottle, so I wanted to get this content out to you guys. If you're thinking about buying this one, I will say, you know, if you want to gift this one, this is definitely a gift for somebody, you know, early 20s, late teens. Or if you have YXLY in your collection, and you want to keep paying that amount, 100, 100, shine dollars over and over again. Definitely check this one out. Hold on to your YXLY and just spray this one. You know what I'm saying? And if you feel it going weak on you, respray yourself. You know what I mean? Because that's that's what I say. For it to be, I think, under 40, uh, that's what you want to get from this one. But that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting no blue de Chanel from this, as some folks say. I'm not getting that at all. I get a, a toner down version of YXLY, definitely EDT concentration, because the Oda Parfume concentration of YXLY, you definitely get a little incense in there. It definitely is a little darker. To me, this would be the EDT version of YXLY. Fresh with the sweet, casual wearing, grab and go kind of scent, uh, in my opinion, right here. Like I said, performance total for me was like five, six hours just pushing it, and the projection was good within like in the first hour uh, of application. So that's my review on the 9 a.m. dive, guys. Thanks for watching the video, man. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share button. If you need more content, click on that video header up on the screen. You want to like and subscribe to the channel, you're going to do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace. Salute.